So we're going to be doing a live video today. Ethan's gone, so hopefully the uh, film looks okay. I've got the camera set up um, and propped up, so hopefully it's getting everything that it needs to. But today we're going to talk a little bit about developing a natural retrieve in your puppy. We have Mr. Mac here that's going to help us with that. And we've got one of his favorite toys. It's falling apart a little bit, but he really likes it. It's got some crinkles in it and a long rope toy and no squeaker, which uh, is also important when we're starting to develop a natural retrieve. So he's already trying to play the game, which is tug of war. So part of this game is we play tug. And he wants to come back to me to play this game. Good boy. Then I can bring him around. He's still holding on to the, the toy. I'm going to just take it from him. Go ahead. Get him excited. Give it a little toss. He chases it down, gets it, and then wants to bring it back, usually. Come on, Mac. Come on, Mac. Good boy, bring it here. So ideally, if you can set this situation up somewhere where he only has the option to come back with you, that would be great. Uh, he's very cooperative though, so I can usually call him back, get his attention, but we can only play this game for a little while. We don't want it to become boring where he doesn't want to play this tug of war retreating game anymore. So let him tug a little bit, toss it, a boy, go boy, Matt. Good boy, bring it back. We play some more tug. Oh, yeah, this is a fun game. So that part of the retrieving problem that people have is their puppy loves to run out, grab something, and then take off with it. And they say, I can't get them to come back to me. Well, if you make part of the fun game the re of the retrieving the tug of war where they want to come back and play this fun game with you, then they're more willing to come back to you with the retrieve as well as, like I said, if you can set this situation up in a hallway or something, that would also help um, that they only have one direct path to come back to. Atta boy. So again, I'm going to uh, take, you got a little vice grip, which is what we're trying to develop. Um, you can always get the bumper, the toy, the bird even from your puppy, um, as well as your adult dog. But if they bring it back and drop it and spit it at your feet, uh, tennis balls are a really bad retrieving tool because the puppy wants to roll it and mouth it and then throw the ball at you and it bounces around and then it's more fun to go and pounce on so it creates a sloppy retrieve. Whereas you find a toy that they really like to play tug with that doesn't have a squeaker, it can just be a plain old rope toy too. And then the puppy wants to run out, get it, and bring it right back. Good boy. Good boy. Nice firm grip. Yeah. He wants to shake it and play. Good boy. So his cooperation and willingness to bring it back to me is so that we can continue this fun game. Atta boy. Good boy, Mac. Good boy, Mac. And then praising him and loving on him. Um, if you ever feel that the game is getting a little too carried away, take it down a notch. Don't get quite so into the tug and the shaking game. Good. And then just take it from him. Good. Oh, you got a good grip. Good grip. Good. Good boy. And he, you can tell he's still pumped up and excited about this game, which is when you need to end the game, not when the puppy is tired and bored and decides to run and take this over to their dog bed or the corner and chew on it. Um, the time to end the game is when you still have focus, when your puppy's still pumped up about playing the game with you, and then you say, okay, we're done for now, and then they can go back in their crates, or you can take them out to potty, but we want to make the game short so that we still have their focus and their excitement so that this game doesn't become boring because we're trying to develop natural retrievers that want to run out, get the bird, bring it back, hold on to it nicely, um, and not drop it and let a wounded bird run off uh, and that doesn't get bored with this game. Right. Good boy. So thanks for tuning in and watching. Um, hopefully the video turned out okay, considering I'm trying to film it by myself here with Mr. Mac. But we'll go turn it off now. Come on.